Hi everyone, I'm an illustrator Jen Yoon. Today I want to talking about fresco and how I use fresco for the illustration. So what you guys are watching is time lapse that I exported after I finished my illustration. The whole process was recorded automatically, so all you have to do is export it after you finish it. Also in the subtitle, I was talking about drawing aids that I use for the building structures. To me personally, it was the most efficient tool I've ever used, especially in the drawing process. And finally, is coloring stage. As you can see, I use the vector layers for the base coloring layer. I feel like it's safer to use the vector layer before jumping to the actual coloring stage. Since my work is more line-based illustration, I put more time and effort in drawing stage. However, this time there's another thing that I supposed to put more time in it. Literally blows sweat and tears. It was every once and also my first time to use these motion fixtures in Adobe Fresco. What you are watching right now is frame by frame animation. It's like traditional way of making an animation slash motions. And there is a path tool that you can just draw an object and using a path tool to create an animation by itself. I'm still exploring with the path tool, so I only used it for the leaves, but I think it has a lot of potential in it. By the way, creating really complicated illustration on iPad kind of needs a lot of planning ahead. Maybe because you cannot add layers infinitely, you have to stop at some point. Anyways, it was really nice to experience Adobe Fresco's motion features ahead of time. It was really fun project to me personally. Hope you guys all liked the final illustration as much as I did. And thank you so much for watching this long video. Bye!